Is that you? Can you tell me what somebody like you, who uses the word diplomacy, like she's chastising me, is doing at a rebel rally? A peace rally. I don't want to do this again. It's exactly what it is. What I'm doing is listening. After that, after you listen. You're asking the wrong question. I'm asking you the question that you don't want to answer. Why would somebody take a picture and type the names of everyone in it on the back? This is a death list. The question you should be asking is who gave me this and why? What are you not telling me? What are you accusing me of? How do you feel about Zawani? Never mind, I don't care for him. I feel disappointment. That's a lover's word. What about rage? Of all the people that I've looked into since the thing started, the one with the darkest Zawani history is you. It was his landmines that killed you. Shh. We don't name the dead. Everyone who loses somebody wants revenge on someone on God if they can't find anyone else. But in Africa, in Matopo, the coup believe that the only way to end grief is to save a life. If someone is murdered, a year of mourning ends with a ritual that we call the drowning mantra. There's an all-night party beside a river. At dawn, the killer is put in a boat, he's taken out on the water, and he's dropped. He's bound so that he can't swim. The family of the dead then has to make a choice. They can let him drown, or they can swim out and save him. The coup believe that if the family lets the killer drown, they'll have justice but spend the rest of their lives in mourning. But if they save him, if they admit that life isn't always just, that very act can take away their sorrow. Vengeance is a lazy form of grief. Why do you look away? There are some things I don't like to talk about and you call it lying. But not when you do it. I'm not the one under investigation. That was a long time ago.